All right, uh, take a look at tech stocks. A lot of them are, are trying to separate the wheat from the chaff here. In other words, which of the former FANG stocks are going to do better this year after getting just bludgeoned last year? You know, when, when push comes to shove, though, for all of the you know, whip song we saw on these issues, take Apple, for example, it was down almost 6% on the year, even though, of course, it had rocketed way up and lost about 40% from its highs during the latter part of the year. Having said that, though, who are the winners in this group, and should you both be looking at this group? To Payne Capital Management President Ryan Payne. Ryan, what do you think? Um, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, first off, Amazon was still up, Neil, almost 30% last year. You're exactly year, right. Yeah. Which is crazy, even with the big uh, pullback that it had. And um, the winner was Netflix with being up almost 40% for the year, even with a big pullback in there. Um, the only thing I would caution you is valuations are still extremely high when you're talking about Amazon and you're talking about Netflix. Uh, whereas on the other side of the spectrum, Apple now trades at 11 times forward earnings. Like you mentioned, only down about 5 6% last year. Uh, you know, it was a, probably a much better buy than those higher, more loftier valuations that you're seeing on Amazon and uh, Netflix. What about the, the technology environment this year? What do you think happens? I think they're going to follow suit with the market. Um, I think at some point here, you know, whenever you see a market correction like this, um, or a bear market technically, right, when you have peak to trough, 20% correction, uh, you typically see the market return something like 45% plus over the next 12 months. So I have to think tech's going to rebound hard with the rest of the market when things finally do turn. What about some of the outside noise, including that maybe that could come from the president, Joe voting the Federal Reserve or meeting with the Federal Reserve chairman and maybe doing so in person? Does that rattle you, or is it just par for the course? I think it's just par for the course at this point. I think uh, with President Trump, we pretty much expect anything, and that's probably somewhat priced in the market at this point. Okay. Uh, what about the other noise that could be out there, or black swan developments that you either worry about or think should be an issue this year? Well, I think the problem is we're already pricing in a black swan event, right? We have a bear right. market right now, and let's face it, the economic data is really, really strong. It's very hard to go into a recession when you have unemployment at a 50-year low at 3.7 percent, might even go to 3.6 percent at the end of the week. In addition to that, I mean, we have 3 percent on GDP, so growth is solid. So I think, if anything, I would think the surprises have to be in the positive here. We're already pricing in, like, the worst-case scenario. So when we have a down year in the market, more often than not, not all the time, but more often right. than not, it's followed by an up year. Now, I know this has been a very different environment because over the last decade or so we've had one up year after another, certainly coming after the meltdown, so all bets are off. Where are you in that camp and should it matter? Uh, I think as a long-term investor, look, you know, we like to say a bear market is a terrible thing to waste. They don't happen that often. Um, you're in a position now where valuations are extremely cheap. You know, the forward earnings on the S&P is at 14 times, which is below the average historically. We know that earnings are going to be good next year. We know revenue is going to be good next year. We know dividends are going up. So, you know, I like to be in the Warren Buffett camp and say you got to take advantage of the volatility and other people's uh, fear and take advantage of it from the standpoint that it's got to be one of the better buying opportunities you're going to get in your lifetime. All right. We shall see. Thank you very, very much. Ryan Payne, a Payne Capital Manager, and he's the president there.